Well, good evening, everyone. It's day 59 of my carnivore diet. Um, feeling a bit better today. Not quite so sensitive as I was yesterday. But um, this is pretty much comfort eating volume two. Um, still a struggle, a big struggle, trying to not eat bad stuff. Um, I did all right today, though. I had quite a lot of meat, didn't really have anything. I had <clears throat> this evening, uh, well, I did have a couple of coffees this morning, again, because I just needed some comfort. Um, but decaf, so I'm still off the caffeine. I just had a little bit of... And, um, you know, which is just a bit of milk. And I'm not... The dairy's not really so bad for me, and I seem to deal with it pretty well, so... That was all right, but I don't mind. Again, it's the least bad thing I can do. Um, so, yeah, so I had a bit of coffee this morning, had a good lunch, um, like a half a pound of meat. Um, I had some macadamia nuts this afternoon, and I went to the gym. So at the end of the day, I went to the gym, and this was the first day I've run 5K um, in this part of my training. So I was well pleased with that. Again, super slow. Um, so it took me 37 minutes, but whatever. I still ran 5K and at actually a little bit better pace than I thought I would be able to manage. So the fitness itself, the the cardio fitness feels like it's coming back quickly. Um, it's been a struggle the last couple of times and I've been going really slow and trying to take care of my knee. But the knee feels okay. Felt all right today. So I pushed it to 5k. So hopefully that means from now on, when I do my cardio, I'll just go and do 5k. Um, I really do need to build in some weight training back into the process again as well. So I'll work on that. Um, <clears throat> so macros, let's just do those quickly. Um, so now I'm well established into the 93s. So I was 93.6, then 7, then 5. So basically the same um, the last few days. So I've reached another sort of soft plateau, but we'll we'll see how that goes. I did have some electrolytes yesterday as well and didn't have a massive spike um, in weight, which was... And so, yeah, I did with the, with the running and stuff. I did like nearly 13,000 steps today. Um, because of the flat whites and the other stuff, I had more carbs than I've had in a while. Um, 59, sorry, 52.9, um, fat 116 and protein 133. So a little bit off today, but again, that's because I had, look, I had some funny stuff to eat. Um, <clears throat> my voice is also ragged tonight, so I apologize for that. I have no idea why it sounds like it does. Um, yeah, the struggle is still there, though. The the desire to just sit and have something. What's I think what's interesting that I'm realizing is is that if you'd asked me three months ago if I were going to comfort eat something, it would be like pop tarts or I don't know, pan of chocolate, like a lot of bready type stuff and and sweets like I used to eat um a lot of just particularly after I worked out because if my if my sugar levels were off um I would eat just like jelly beans and stuff like that after I'd worked out so I would eat just jelly beans and stuff like all the time and what's been really interesting is that's I don't really crave that stuff even though that would be normally my comfort food um I kind of crave maybe potatoes a little bit, which is, you know, obviously high in natural sugars and, and carbs and stuff, but at least it's it, it's a, like a raw vegetable that I cook myself, like it hasn't been tinkered with. Um, I haven't eaten any, but that's kind of, those are the kinds of things that I crave. But the other thing I've realized is, is that I crave stuff that's more, I think the dairy <laughs> satisfies me. So having a bit of milk and you know, in some coffee or like having 
a flat white. Now, it, that used to feel just like a coffee, like I'd just have a latte or a flat white or something, and it was like a drink. Now it feels quite luscious, and it 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 ticks that box without actually being too bad. So you know, yesterday I needed, I just I needed some comfort, so I had some ice cream, and again, of all the things that I could I could have gone out. I I realistically could have gone out and eaten an entire box of pop tarts. Probably would have helped me mentally, but it wouldn't have helped me physically. And um, and now you know today, still really strong desire to to try and comfort myself with food. And I I think that I don't know. I don't, I really don't know where that came from. Um, probably from my parents, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's when you have that, I think it's really difficult. I know other people comfort with other things and maybe there are worse things to comfort with. It could be drugs. It could be alcohol. Um, you know, I guess it, 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 there are worse things than, than food, but a lifetime of it is what's the problem. And trying to break that is really difficult. The urge. Having the discipline to not do it is a whole nother thing. And um, to be honest, I've been quite surprised at my resilience and my ability to not eat Pop-Tarts because there's a box of them in the cabinet down there because my son likes them. And so they're there and available if I want them. Um My wife wanted something nice from the store, so I brought her something nice. And they, in the UK, they make these little things, these small individual servings of like key lime pie or um, like lemon cheesecake and stuff like that. But they're in these small single serving ramekins. Like an American would like think that's a joke, the size of it. You'd be like, is that like a child's half a child's portion or something? But it's it's only it's a it's a small ramekin about that big around. It's like not even as big around as a as a coffee mug. And it's only about that deep. So it's it's a very small amount to begin with. And I had one bite of the of the um not of the base, but of the the creamy bit at the top. And I kind of was just like, it didn't do it for me, which was good. I feel that that's a step in the right direction. Um and I kind of did curiosity to see if it would start all sorts of like if I wanted to then eat the whole thing or not. But I had a little taste and was just like, meh. Um, so that was a positive, I guess. Um, but yeah, last couple of days have been pretty rough. I It's our anniversary tomorrow. So that's going to be we're going out, but we're going to a place in London. It's a barbecue place. And so literally all they serve is barbecue and meat. So that's going to be amazing. So, you know, I'll, I'll be at home during the day. I can control my diet. Then we can go out tomorrow night. I suspect I might have a glass of wine, a small glass of wine or something because we want to celebrate a little bit, but I don't know. Um, I'm not a big drinker anyway. I used to be, but in the last several years, I just, I don't, I don't drink a lot anymore. Um, and so we'll see used to be when I was on the diet before, if I drank a glass of wine, even a glass of wine, I would put on at least a kilo, um, just the way my body reacted to it. And I assumed that that was just for some reason it was causing me to gain water weight or something. I don't know, but this is part of the reason that I keep all these spreadsheets and everything and kind of keep track of what I eat because then I can see how my body reacts to stuff. On one hand, I'm kind of curious to know what will happen if I have some wine tomorrow. But on the other hand, it's like I'm actually doing really well on the diet and I don't want to do it. So we'll see. I'll probably stick to the diet in the end because drinking isn't that big of a thing and we'll figure out something else to do. But um, anyway, yeah, still not my normal buoyant self, but um, but feeling so. 
Anyway, all that said, the other thing is, is this is day 59. So day 60, which is the end of two months is tomorrow. I had started to think about what I wanted to say in my month two recap. Um, but that's kind of, that's kind of been waylaid. So I have no idea what I'm going to say. I probably won't do that until the weekend. So we'll just do normal videos tomorrow and Friday, and then I'll I'll worry about that over the weekend and, and do something then. So it's not going to be exactly on the first of the month like it was this month. But um, But I will do one. And I do have some thoughts um, about what's happened this month. So I will, I'll pull something together and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, again, to the people who had nice comments, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And um, thoughts and prayers are always appreciated. So, um, but just, you know, if you're going to do that, just send positive vibes to the to the family, particularly their family, his his wife and kids um, that are in the States. But yeah, we we will persevere. So well, thanks everybody for watching. Now I'm waffling again, so I'm going to go. But uh, everybody have a good evening and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.